world headquarters of common sense. Talk radio. Give us an overview, firstly, uh, Alexei, if you would, uh, of, of what is happening. Uh, I am now in Kiev, uh, the capital of Ukraine, and uh, Putin is trying to take Kiev, and Russian forces are uh, trying to push here. But uh, what is very good that the Blitzkrieg, which Putin was uh, hoped of and was hoping at, uh, is failed. Uh, because uh, they said that we will we will uh, destroy Ukraine in one day or two days or three days, we will decapitate the country and so on, and they will surrender. That had not happened. Uh, Russians uh, uh, had not taken any major Ukrainian city. Um, they have some uh, movement to Kiev, but also they are suffering big losses. Uh, according to the last uh, information from our Ministry of Defense, yeah, they lost uh, more than two um 1800 people already wow. just for com just for comparison during the old war in afghanistan which lasts for almost 10 years soviet army lost 15000 people and just in 30 hours in ukraine they lost uh, 2800 so that's the biggest losses of russian army from the times of second world war that is where is and so that information is is coming from the defense the the ukrainian defense department right yes it's from ukrainian defense department but we have a lot of evidences of these photos videos of uh, uh, of killed russian soldiers right. we have uh, you know, near 10 aircrafts downed uh, we have a number of helicopters down. We have dozens of uh, tanks and vehicles uh, just been uh, smashed, by the way, also with the help of British and law systems. So thank you, God save the Queen. Thank you for this weapon. So we are fighting. Our army is fighting. and uh, But certainly the situation is tough. Today, several groups of paratroopers tried to enter Kiev. They were destroyed completely. Uh, Russia is bombing uh, cities and missile attacks. The last news we have, um, very like very bad news, that uh, Russia attacked and shot it at uh, kindergarten in Akhtyrka, and one uh, one child is uh, heavily heavily wounded, and one uh, adult is killed. We have uh, the um, uh, shooting at the big. Uh, uh, children house uh, in Warsaw near Kiev. Uh, unfortunately, no ch ch no ch no child is killed, uh, but that is a genocide. This night, the missile attacks at Kiev. Uh, several civilian houses were damaged, and we have wounded per people. In terms of the next step, there is. Uh, I mean, you've, you've described what to many people would look like. Ukraine defending itself very effectively but of course you know the size of the Russian army you know the numbers of troops Alexei that Putin has put certainly initially on the border and incursions into now major cities is it even feasible that Ukraine could seriously defend itself ultimately from the military might of the Russians Yes, it is. It is feasible. Yeah, certainly it is very hard. I, we, we, I do not want to underestimate, uh, yes, and uh, there is a big difference in forces. But we are defending, which is strategical advance, and we are high in spirit. Because Russian soldiers, so there is uh, several dozens of Russian soldiers captured, and they are telling that they were said that they are going to military trainings. And uh, their moral is not high at all. Our moral is much higher we are defending ourselves that's our home that's our land and that is important certainly i can tell you what will make the matches equal if nato will help us with a non-flight zone over ukraine because russians are using aircrafts to bomb for military objects and also civilian objects and there is a experience from nato to to, to provide a non-flight zone in syria in libya yeah. and now ukraine desperately needs this 
uh, even from humanitarian point of view. We had and a. We will receive. Sorry, I was just going to say we had a, a tweet from uh, a guy called William who says uh, we must supply Ukraine with plenty of anti-aircraft missiles. Ukraine announced is a no-fly zone. This would slow down the Russian advance, giving Ukraine a chance to defend themselves on the ground. Once Russia runs out of aircraft, it'll soon be over, um, which is essentially what you're you're suggesting here too. Yes, absolutely. You have very, very, your audience is very intelligent and the really brightest absolutely. in the world, Alexei. <laughs> yes, I, I have no doubts in this. Yeah. So, yes, and uh, absolutely each word is, uh, is very right. And uh, that's, uh, and the second thing which uh, also happened today, Russian military ships, they uh, shoot it at uh, two um uh, civilian ships of uh, member of st member state states members of nato romania and turkey just without any reason just because they i don't know maybe they made it on mistake maybe they want to frighten i don't know yeah. but they shoot them and uh, i think that's also for nato something which nato could react why not? And also, that is the place where we are weak on the sea. Russian fleet is much stronger than ours. Sure. But if we will go to the land, our army it shows itself very strong and very with a very high moral, and we can win on the land. I have no doubts in this. Do you fear personally for your safety, Alexei, based on the fact that you are a member of parliament? You know, we understand that uh, the Russians would like nothing more than to uh, get their hands on parliamentary and government buildings. You're a member of that. You may not be physically in the building at the time, but does any representative, any politician of a Ukrainian background or nationality is surely a target for the Russians? Uh, no questions about this. I am very close to the parliament. I'm in the center of the city. And definitely there are lists, uh, American intelligence said that there are lists of those who are, they want to kill or uh, imprison. And no questions that I am in this list. Even Putin himself told during his speech that he mentioned several times Odessa, which is my constituency. And after this, uh, one of his top propagandists, Mr. Solovyov, told that he was mentioning me. So speaking about me, that I will be punished for everything I did. But that is uh, something, you know, my risks are much lower than risks of our uh, military soldiers and officers fighting now for our country. So their risks are much higher. And that's the first thing. And the second thing, uh, just about to say about moral in our country, uh, just during the last 24 hours in Kiev, more than 18,000 rifles were distributed among civilians uh, ready to fight for the country, and one of them is in my hands. So I'm ready to fight and to defend myself and my city and my country. Could you just show us that again, uh, Alexei? That is, you have a real gun Please. that has been supplied by the government to people like yourself and other yes. citizens. And 18,000 uh, automatic uh, rifles like these were distributed just during 24 hours, last and just in one city. The biggest city, Kiev, but just one city. And you're, you're confident you can defend yourself against any invasion or incursion into whether it's a city, we'll, a we'll, borough, or an area? We'll do our best, and we want our cities to become fortresses fortresses each city each town should be like a fortress for against occupants and if they will enter unfortunately i don't have military experience and i don't have good habits but so speaking that we are thousands yeah that will be a hell for them alexi uh stay safe sir thank you for your time Good talk. 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 listen on your smart speaker watch it live on your smart tv the world headquarters of common sense talk radio